All right. Um, so here we want to address how to compute the overall IRP3 of cascade of RF blocks. Imagine we have a cascade of RF blocks as shown here. So this is our source. This is source register. And then we have the first block. So block one um, with voltage gain A1 and noise factor F1. And then we have block two with noise factor F2 and voltage gain A2 and assume that these are perfectly impedance matched and assume the same thing is happening between source and the first block and the same scenario happens for the rest of the blocks so let's say with block 3 A3 F3 block 3 they are matched and so on up to the last block which is block N with voltage gain AN and noise factor FN and finally it's impedance match with the final load so matched here and the reason for matching is the power transfer uh, so let's say this is the assumption we have for this cascade of RF blocks we want to compute overall IAP3 um, we know that for each of the blocks let's say for block 1 uh, the relationship between IAP3 and uh, IM3 and uh, the input power is intermodulation product of third order let's say input referred is equal to in dB is equal to uh, 3 input power in dB minus 2 input referred intercept point of third order in dB and this is just saying that if you apply two tones at input of block 1 let's say with powers Pn so these are two tones two RF tones then what you get at the output due to nonlinearity of the block one would be something like amplified version of two tone and let's say input we re input refer it so in addition to have these two pn we would have intermodulation product of third order input referred with corresponding power in db having this relationship between the input power to the block and it's given or assumed iip3 so the thing is, when uh, two tones are applied at the input of this cascade, as it goes through different blocks, it generates different uh, IIM3 for corresponding to each of the blocks. So let's say when this path passes through the block 2 and then its input referred back to the very input, what we see is at the very input we have still the two main tones that we applied for test with a power Pn, but then we have uh, the I, IM3 of block 1 in addition to it we will have IIM3 of block 2 input referred to the very input and the same thing with the other side now as we go through all the blocks these components add up together and result in an overall IM3 input referred that we want to compute as a worst case scenario <coughs> since these tones generate um, these third order harmonic input referred as a single tone as a worst case scenario we are making the assumption that for worst case computation all these sinusoids are added voltage wise in phase as a worst case so we can say the overall input referred by am3 in voltage is equal to sum of all input referred im3s for all the blocks from block 1 to block n in voltage right now from this equation uh, we can find out the linear rather than db relationship between the input referred intermodulation and the power in and the input referred intercept point of third order so this one translate to i i m 3 um, in power linear um, 
equal to power to in, input power uh, to power 3 and divide by IIP3 to power 2. So we, from this we get IAM3 in voltage is this guy. All right, we're going to apply this to two sides of equation here. So the overall IAM3 in voltage total is equal to IIM3 of block 1, again voltage, plus IIM3 of block 2, voltage, plus IIM3 of block N, voltage. So replacing, it's as if we have PN for these two tones applied at the very input of cascade and we are trying to find an overall IIP3 for the whole cascade equal to that P in applied to block 1 which result in this much of a intermod product plus the input referred intermod intermodulation product of third order due to the block 2 but input deferred to the beginning of to the, to the input of block 1 so that would be as if however PN is applied um, but then that power is amplified by A squared and then there is a, a cubic factor here so it becomes A1 to power 6 uh, IIP3 of block 2 but then the whole thing need to be input referred to the beginning so it becomes the whole thing divided by A1 squared uh, divided by its voltage so divide by a a1 right and then we have for the next block we have pn3 a16 a26 divide by iip3 of block 3 and divide by a1 a2 and so on so we get pn3 um, IIP3 of block 1 plus PN3 A13 and IIP3 of block 2 over A1 plus A13 A23 IIP3 of block 3 A1 A2 so from here we can cancel out these, these guys from both sides of the equation we get 1 over IIP3 total is equal to 1 over IIP3 1 plus A1 squared IIP3 2 plus A1 squared A2 squared divide by IIP3 of block 3 and so on uh, we can say plus A1 squared uh, a2 squared a n minus 1 squared divided by IIP3 of block n. So this is the total worst case IIP3 for the cascade of these RF blocks.